everyone, isang magandang araw po sa lahat ng mga batang nanonood sa araw na to. This is Teacher Ray nagsasabing, tara na at matuto sa Math Thinker. If you are ready, let's go! This lesson will discuss an important acronym for the order of operations in mathematics. Without these guidelines given, the accurate and objective nature of mathematical circulation could not exist. So today, we are going to perform a series of more than two operations on whole numbers applying parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or PM dust, or grouping, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or what we call the GM dust. PMDAS is an acronym for the word parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Given two or more operations in a single expression, the order of letters in PMDAS tells you what to calculate first, second, third, and so on, until the calculation is complete. If there are grouping symbol in the expression, GM does tells you to calculate within the grouping symbols first or the innermost operation, follows by multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The PMDAS or GMDAS rule is an important thing that we must consider in solving the series of operation of numbers. In solving problems involving more than two operations using the acronym PMDAS, first, perform the operation inside the parenthesis. Second, perform multiplication and division operation in order from left to right. These two operations actually have the same priority. Complete only those two operations in the order they occur from left to right. Then third, perform addition and subtraction operations in order from left to right. So these two operations also actually have the same priority. Complete only those two operations in the order they occur from left to right or whatever comes first. Let us discuss one by one how to follow the rules in performing the PMDAS rule. For example, 8 plus 5 times 4 divided by 2 minus 4. First rule, perform the operation inside the parenthesis. So we have two operations inside the parenthesis, the multiplication and division. So first, we are going to perform multiplication. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So our new equation is 8 plus 20 divided by 2 minus 4. So the next operation is division. So let us divide 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So our new equation is 8 plus 10 minus 4. So, multiplication and division are already eliminated. So, let us proceed to perform addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So, we are going to perform addition. So, 8 plus 10 is equal to 18 minus 4. And the last operation is subtraction. So, let us subtract 18 minus 4 is equal to 14. Another example is 5 plus 3 times 4 minus 4 divided by 2. First rule, perform the operation inside the parenthesis. So we have two operations, the addition and multiplication. Since rule number 2 states that perform the multiplication and divisions operation in order from left to right, so we are going to perform first the multiplication. So let us multiply 3 
times 4 is equal to 12. Turning into new equation, 5 plus 12 minus 4 divided by 2. So the next operation is addition since it is inside the parentheses. So 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. Turning into new equation, 17 minus 4 divided by 2. Then the next operation is division. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then the new equation is 17 minus 2. So we are now on the third rule, perform addition and subtraction from left to right. Since there is no addition, so let us proceed to subtraction. So 17 minus 2 is equal to 15. So one more example is 6 times 5 plus 9 minus 4 divided by 5. Let us perform the operation inside the parentheses. So we have two operations, the addition and subtraction. So the first operations to perform is addition. So 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. So the new equation is 6 times 14 minus 4 divided by 5. So next operation is subtraction because it is inside the parentheses. So 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. Turning into new equation, 6 times 10 divided by 5. So let us perform multiplication and division. So first, let us multiply 6 times 10 is equal to 60 divided by 5. So the last operation is division. So 60 divided by 5 is equal to 12. Now, let us proceed to GMDAS rule. First, Perform the operation from the innermost pair of the grouping symbols, like braces and brackets. 2. Perform multiplication and division operations in order from left to right. These two operations actually have the same priority. Complete only those operations in the order they occur from left to right. Okay? Remember, from left to right or what? ever comes first. It's either multiplication or division or division and multiplication. Number three, perform addition and subtraction operations in order from left to right. These two operations also actually have the same priority. Complete only those operations in order they occur from left to right or whatever comes first. So now let us follow the GMDAS rule. For example, 10 times 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 5. So let us perform the innermost pair of the grouping symbol since we do not have the innermost pair unless we have two parentheses. So let us perform first multiplication or otherwise let us perform both the multiplication and division which is 10 times 4 or 8 divided by 4. Okay, so let us perform both operations. 10 times 4 is equal to 40 then 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Turning into new equation 40 plus 2 minus 5. So let us proceed to rule number 3. Perform addition and subtraction from left to right. So we are going to perform addition. 40 plus 2 is equal to 42 minus 5. Then let us perform the last operation which is subtraction. 42 minus 5 is equal to 37. So here are another example. So 12 minus 5 times 2 minus 6 divided by 3 plus 7. 
Rule number one states that perform the operation from the inner most pair of the grouping symbol. So we have two grouping symbols here. So we have two parentheses inside the brackets. So that is 5 times 2 and 6 divided by 3. So we can perform both operations since they are inside the parentheses and inside the bracket. So that is 5 times 2 and 6 divided by 3. So we are going to perform both operations. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, then 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So our new equation is 12 minus 10 minus 2 plus 7. Since we have left pair inside the bracket, so we are going to perform subtraction first inside the bracket. So 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Turning into new equation, 12 minus 8 plus 7. So let us proceed to rule number 3. Perform addition and subtraction from left to right. So let us perform first subtraction. So 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 plus 7. And the last operation is addition. So 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. So one more example. 4 plus 5 times 2 minus 2 divided by 6. So perform the operations from the innermost pair, which is 5 times 2. So let us perform multiplication first. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So our new equation is 4 plus 10 minus 2 divided by 6. The next operation is addition because this operation is inside the bracket. So 4 plus 10 is equal to 14 minus 2 divided by 6. So our new equation is 14 minus 2 divided by 6. So let the, the next operation is subtraction. Why? Because this operation is found inside the bracket. And 14 minus 2 is equal to 12 divided by 6. The last operation is division. So let us divide 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. Okay, find the value of n. 5 plus 7 times 2 minus 8 divided by 4 is equal to n. So we have four operations. Addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. So we have multiplication and division. We can solve this n at the same time okay, because they are in separate operation. So 7 times 2 and 8 divided by 4. The answer is 14 and 2. So copy 5 plus 14 minus 2. Then we have two operations left, addition and subtraction. So first to solve is addition. 5 plus 14 is equal to 19 minus 2. Then Proceed to subtraction, 19 minus 2 is equal to 17. So the value of n is 17. Next example, 15 minus 4 times 5 divided by 10 plus 2 is equal to 10. So first to perform is the operation inside the parentheses, which is multiplication. So 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So the new equation is 15 minus 20 divided by 10 plus 2. Then the next operations to perform is division. So 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So our new equation is 15 minus 2 
plus 2. So we have subtraction and additions left. So we're going to perform the subtraction first because it is in the left part. So 15 minus 2 is equal to 13 plus 2. Then let us add 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. What about this number? 16 divided by 6 plus 2 times 9 minus 5 is equal to n. So what operations are we going to perform first? Is it addition or subtraction? We can answer them both at the same time because uh, they are in the separate operations or in between the multiplication symbol. So 6 plus 2 and 9 minus 5. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So the new equation is 16 divided by 8 times 4. Then proceed to the next operations. Division or multiplication. Since division is at the left part, so we are going to perform first division. So 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2 times 4. Then let us multiply 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Another example. So we have here 16 minus 7 times 4 plus 9 minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to n. So first to perform is 16 minus 7 it because that operation is inside the parentheses. So 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. Then copy times 4 plus 9 minus 4 divided by 2 in the bracket. So the next operation is, of course, multiplication because that operation is inside the bracket. So 9 times 4 is equal to 36, then copy plus 9 minus 4 divided by 2. So we have uh, three operations left. We have the addition, subtraction, and division. Then, first, we are going to perform division. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, we have new equations, 36 plus 9 minus 2. Then, the next operation is addition. 36 plus 9 is equal to 45 minus 2. And the last is subtraction, 4, 5, minus 2 is equal to 43. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. So this is Teacher Rai saying, God bless everyone and see you on my next video. And don't forget to subscribe for more update. Paalam!